tell me about how all your babies had such fat little legs. Remember? And where are they now? All them babies, all them grandbabies, <laughs> gone. Every last one of them. But you love them, Miss Leah. Who's gonna know how much you love them? Men's got a story, don't you, darling? I thought you heard enough of but my story. But you haven't told our story, darling. I don't think that this is such a good time. Please, it's such a lovely story with a happy ending. Go on now, don't be silly. I was at school. The conservatory, go on. It was, it was spring. The campus was lovely then. Flowers were everywhere. But all anybody kept talking about was this handsome stranger who was here visiting for a couple of weeks. That was Frank, all the way from England. Fanny, let her tell it or you tell it. Go on, sorry. Pretty soon everybody but me had met him or at least seen him. And then one afternoon I was out walking and I thought I was alone so I started singing. Mm -hmm. Frank was out walking too and he heard me. I really scared her. I hadn't heard him behind me. I was tracking her like a wild Indian. And then he said, I had been away from England for almost a month and I hadn't heard a note of Puccini in all that time. So I told her she sang like an angel and invited her to have dinner with me. And I said, my sisters hadn't raised me to have dinner with a strange gentleman who I met in a walk in the woods. You shouldn't have been.